Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. On the road again. This is Rusty78609. We're in Johnson City, Texas, right by the county courthouse for, I guess, uh, Blanco County, probably. Be that as it may, we're going to go up here and take a right and go to Fredericksburg, if I can make this light, which I'm not. But anyway, <clears throat> on the road again. Been down in Marble Falls area for about a month and got a lot done. Got my blinker fixed, my skin surgery done, and the cataract surgery in one eye, and we're headed back to Fort Clark Springs, and I am tickled to death. Man, what a month. Yo. <laughs> what happened, you know? Feel like it was a dream almost, but yeah, we're uh, cruising here. I've been cruising about 55 miles an hour, 30 miles to Fredericksburg, Texas on Highway 290 here. We'll go to Fredericksburg, then we'll head over towards Kerrville. And before we get to Kerrville, we'll take a ride on Interstate 10 and head west for a few miles and then turn left on, I don't know what highway it is, but it goes through like mountain, it's a little town, Mountain Home. But then we'll go through Mountain Home and then over to, it's spelled L-E-A-K-E-Y, like leaky, but it's pronounced lakey go to Lakey and then over to Camp Wood and from Camp Wood we'll go the back way over to Brackettville, Fort Clark Springs and that will just make tickle me to death and not being in a hurry makes it all that much better. So I'm in my Class C motorhome, Thor 4 Winds 22E, 24 feet long on a Chevy chassis, 6.0, 6 liter engine, 10 miles a gallon is about all you can hope for. I do not have a tow vehicle. I don't plan to get one. Does that mean I won't? It just means I don't plan to. So, because I do me and you do you and everybody does themselves. and I, It's my mind and if I want to change it, I'll damn sure do it. So, it's a beautiful day. Temperature shows to be about 50 degrees and rising up to 70. No wind. And what little wind there is is kind of behind me right now which is great. Guys, I gotta tell you, having a Class C motorhome for me at this time of my life has really turned out to be a, a good thing. And I'm really happy with it so far. And uh, yeah, I'll probably keep it, I don't know, it depends. Uh, I don't know, uh, I, I mean, as far as going traveling this summer, I don't know where I'm gonna go. I mean, I, cause see, I've got a big, a, a real option, you know, like rent a cabin for a month in three places, say uh, like Silver City, uh, Taos, and maybe one more place, if I can find one by the month that's reasonable, I can do that and drive up in my Chevy Spark and do that. That's one way to do it, to spend the summer out of the heat. That's one option. <clears throat> the other option is to take the Class C and do like I've done in the past and just go to state parks and BLMs and whatever else is around and move around like that. And that, to me right now, uh, seems to be the best option that you use the Class C. Why? Well, being in a cabin in one spot for a full month in an area that, you know, once I've done it, uh, I'm ready to go traveling. But living, you, know, you have your home base and it's a little bit different because it's your stuff inside the home and not somebody else's. So, we'll see. I, I'm gonna, I, at some point I'm gonna get my uh, vision checked and uh, you know, I may need to wear, I may need uh, glasses for distance, even though uh, it's quite clear uh, I, I think it could be improved by uh, getting a pair of glasses. We'll see. In fact, I'm going to check. I've got an old pair of glasses at home in Fort Clark Springs. I'm going to check those and see if that prescription won't work for what I've got now because uh, it's the same vision. I mean, it's you know, one eye is up close and one eye is distant. And that's what my glasses, my prescription glasses, were. So does that mean a hill of beans to you? No. But it does to me. So.
So guys, on the road again. God, it feels good to be out here. I don't know, man. Just just traveling somewhere is good for me. And I'm gonna slow down. I was going 57. I'm gonna slow down to about 53. It's a four-lane highway. If somebody wants to pass, they can. It's not real busy. And uh, well, just as I say, it's a four-lane. It says left lane ends. <laughs> I mean, perfect timing. You're like right on cue. Yeah, they, and on this road, they got a lot of wineries going towards Fredericksburg. That was called Carter Creek Winery. And uh, yeah, they probably got a half a dozen on, the, on Highway 290 between Johnson City and Fredericksburg, Texas. So, yeah, the plan right now is just to get back home, uh, get old Sparky set up, ready to go. I got to hook the battery back up, hope everything at home is doing all right, check everything out, wash some clothes, and chill out, and at beer 30 today, I'll sit on my patio, with my, my screened in patio, with my ceiling fan on, and read Henry VIII, yep, without glasses, won't that be fun, and yeah, it is, so, short term plan, back to Fort Clark Springs for a couple of months, maybe three, four, I don't know. And then uh, when it starts to warm up and I start to feel uncomfortable, we'll do it. We'll do it. Hit the road again. Now, you know, something else I did this morning, I had a, a bar, you know, like a regular bar of dark, dark chocolate you can buy at the grocery store. And it's like 70 percent dark chocolate or whatever and, and it, it doesn't have much sugar in it it's a really a low sugar thing but dark chocolate has some really good some supposedly health benefits so I found it I, I just stumbled on it when I was looking for my dark chocolate omelets I'd forgotten I'd had it so I broke up some of those little chunks mixed it in with my Walmart dark, dark chocolate almonds, which are basically not dark chocolate almonds. They're just almonds with a dust on it. Tastes like dark chocolate. But anyway, yeah, it's pretty good stuff. And uh, what am I, why am I telling you that? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I just felt like I should. Yes, sir, traveling and uh, driving a Class C motorhome uh, without any wind, not much traffic, at about 55 miles an hour uh, is muy bueno, very good, not, not a problem at all. So for you guys out there, you know, the only downside of a Class C or any motorhome today, whether it's a Class B, C, B+, plus, A, or whatever, they are damn expensive, man. Uh, this thing I've got right now, it's, this thing's only a year old, uh, a, little, a year and four months, 2021 same unit but 2022 is thirty thousand dollars more my god i'm telling you crazy world we live in guys and gasoline prices uh, i think we're just about at peak not peak oil but peak gas prices because you know this is um kind of a i don't know if i wouldn't say it's a driving season it's really kind of winter time but uh, oil prices at $90 a barrel <clears throat> stay in there, I don't know. So I'm always the optimist. I'm looking for oil, I mean, not only oil prices to come down, but gasoline prices to kind of level off in the 260 area in the next six to eight months. Difficult. However, 
the back, really one of the better traveling days is Sunday. Why? Because there's just not a lot of traffic in the mornings for sure. So you RVers out there, if you want to miss some traffic and take the chance of not having a breakdown, well, do it. We got the Tejas Winery on the right. And they also have a place out here that makes uh, whiskey, Texas uh, whiskey. That's a Blue Lotus winery. Man, they must have, maybe they got more than, uh, they have a dozen out here. There's another one on the left called, oh, no, yeah, and there's one, it's called RV Boat Stories. That's what it's called. <laughs> Oops. Well, you know, nine out of ten ain't bad. Here comes another Class C or whatever that is. Yeah. Got him a toad. Here comes a fifth wheel. Those are snowbirds trying to find a place to park because all the RV parks and state parks are full. And that's another thing that I have to take into consideration. I don't, the places that I'll be going to though normally are not that busy. You know, they're kind of out of the way. It's not the uh, major attractions. But anyway, guys, with that in mind, Old Rusty is feeling a lot better, mentally, physically, and all over. And I'm telling you, man, getting those stitches out yesterday, oh, how do you spell relief? Stitches out, you know? And uh, cataract surgery done, the eyeball is, yeah, there's no more scratchy feeling or stuff like that. It's, we're okay, guys. And there's another one called the Horn, H-O-R-N Winery. And uh, there's another one called High Meadow Winery. And then there's another one, believe it or not, I'm just reading the sign. It's called Narrow Path Winery. And this little town we're coming into right now is called H-Y-E High, Texas. And there's the High Supermarket and Post Office. Yeah, they got Ranch Road 1 up here that goes through um, uh, LB, or uh, uh, Lyndon Baines Johnson State Park, LBJ State Park. And if you go there, yeah, they have a, the old uh, ranch house is there. You can go into it and see where they held the meetings. This was called the Texas White House many years ago. And it has all the phones there. And they also have the, uh, the old jet they used to fly in out there the airport they had a big airport there and in fact it shows pictures of the, uh, the group doing the Vietnam War planning you know McNamara and Johnson and some other generals were at a table planning the future of half a million men overseas of which a lot of them didn't come back be that as it may, ladies and gentlemen, this is Rusty 78609, about 18 miles from Fredericksburg, which is in Gillespie County. We're coming into that now. So, thumbs up, guys. We're on the road. Thumbs up, carpe diem. Carpe diem means seize the day in Latin. Carpe diem, adios, bye-bye. Buy anything you want, anytime. But if you think about it, use the link to Amazon products in the description of all of my videos. Why? Because it doesn't cost you a penny. Just click on the link, go to Amazon, and buy whatever you want. Drink plenty of water, stretch, walk. Stand guard at the door of your mind. Most important, I guarantee you. The world is loaded with negativity, so try to avoid as much of it as you can. Think positive. Life is good. If you don't believe me, try something else. Adios. Bye-bye.